Well, there is no doubt that 2020 was a doozy. Looking back 12 months, I'm pretty sure none of us could have predicted the devastation and disruption that was lying ahead of us. And at Lung Cancer Canada, our hearts go out to all those who have this disease. Having lung cancer is hard enough, but now many have had to go through the illness isolated without access to the usual levels of support from family and friends due to the all too familiar restrictions on travel and gatherings. So as we look ahead in 2021, surely things are going to improve. Although at the time that I'm recording this, case numbers are on the rise in many parts of the country and jurisdictions are generally moving back into some degree of lockdown. Why will they improve? Well, because we've learned how to live and manage despite the pandemic. We've learned as a community how to deliver cancer care effectively despite the pressures on healthcare. And of course, the vaccines are now starting to become available to protect us and allow us to dream of a return to normality. Should lung cancer patients receive the coronavirus vaccine? Well, in the large majority, this answer is unequivocally yes. We know that cancer patients can be more vulnerable, maybe at higher risk of complications if they contract COVID-19. There are questions that remain about the optimal timing of receiving the vaccine, particularly for those actively on treatment, but these answers are coming rapidly. So if you are offered the vaccine, check with your healthcare team about the best time and then accept it. How can we at Lung Cancer Canada support you this year? And indeed, how can you support us? Our team of volunteers and staff rapidly adapted in 2020 to the virtual world. And in fairness, we were already moving in that direction anyway as part of our aspiration to be relevant and available for lung cancer patients in all provinces and territories. Support groups, podcasts, webinars, materials on the website, virtual gatherings for the stakeholder briefing, Evening of Hope, advocacy campaigns, and more. All of these programs and events can be accessed from the safety of your own home. Look out especially in 2021 for our What's New in Lung Cancer webinar series that we recently launched in November 2020. We're moving forward with supporting more research activities, primarily through the Jeffrey Ogram Memorial Research Grant, and in 2020, we received more donations to support research than ever before. What's happening in the broader lung cancer world as we continue as an organization to advocate for access to treatment? Well, I think the biggest good news of recent months was the announcement by British Columbia that they will launch the first comprehensive lung cancer screening program in 2022. We're now looking, of course, for other provinces to make their own announcements in 2021. Screening with low-dose CT scans is the single most important initiative to save lives in lung cancer, which unfortunately remains the most common cancer diagnosed in cancer, Canada and causes by far the most cancer deaths. The high fatality rate is due to the diagnosis of two-thirds of patients at either stage three or stage four. But those diagnosed through screening, we change this to the majority diagnosed at stage one or stage two. Access to the newest and most effective drugs for lung cancer is a priority. And with the science marching forward and identifying more and more targeted agents and immunotherapy options, hopefully 2021 will see positive news. We're looking specially or specifically at the lung cancer subtypes ROS1, BRAF and NTRK or NTRAC and hoping to have new treatments available as well as some novel immunotherapy approaches and also seeking access to immunotherapy for those who have either small cell lung cancer or mesothelioma. To my knowledge, we're the only charity that has provided input to advocate for access for every lung cancer drug that has gone through the regulatory process. Our mission at LCC is to support patients with lung cancer and their families to raise awareness, to educate, to advocate, to support research. We will be doing it differently in 2021, but we're ready and we're working for you. Thank you for your continued support for our organization and we hope you will continue to support us in 2021. Stay safe.